To make this robot, you will need six ballpoint pens, Ecoflex 0050, wire cutters, pliers, and mini zip ties. First, take a pen and remove the inkwell. Then, shorten the casing by about three quarters of an inch. Take a second pen and remove the head. Continue to remove both the metal nib and the inkwell. If done carefully, the inkwell can be removed without leaking ink into the head of the pen. Cap the back of the first pen with the empty head of the second. This will center the inkwell between the two ends. To make sure the well is centered, roll the pen between your fingers. As the pen rotates, the inkwell should not appear to move. Make two more for a total of three molds. Mix a small batch of Ecoflex 0050. Fill the mold by injecting rubber with a plastic syringe. 20 milliliters of rubber is enough to fill all three molds. After the case is full, reassemble the mold, making sure the inkwell is still centered. Place the filled molds upright in a cup and wait four hours for the rubber to cure. To remove the rubber, remove both ends of the mold and pull out the inkwell using a pair of pliers. The mold should form a hollow rubber cylinder that is open at both ends. Do not worry if there is some ink on the inside of the rubber. Empty molds can be reassembled and reused for future projects. To test the actuator, close one end with a zip tie and inflate with a squeeze bulb or syringe. The actuator should inflate evenly and not curl. To assemble the tentacle, bond three actuators together with more Ecoflex. After the rubber has cured, connect each actuator to an air source. I use 60 milliliter plastic syringes. This completes the robot. The tentacle is completely soft and can bend in any direction. There are many potential applications for this type of robot. One of the most exciting is aid in minimally invasive surgery. In the future, soft robots such as these can be outfitted with cameras and give operating surgeons a better view, all while minimizing risks to the patient. Thank you for watching.